Jesus Christ, this is not going anywhere. So this is how this penis extender is supposed to work. So far it's working. How's it going boys? So in front of me today is another penis extender and I had to buy this one because the way it works, it has a really interesting mechanism that I haven't seen anywhere else and I would like to test it and show you guys if it actually works. In my opinion, it really has really good potential the way it works and the way it vacuums the penis. So in this video, we're going to unbox all the parts and we're going to try and demonstrate how this device works. So if you guys are into that, really appreciate it if you like this video. And if you're new here, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Anyways, let's begin with this sort of unboxing here. So what I liked about this device is the mechanism in which it vacuums the head onto your penis. So as you guys can see, the vacuum happens here by this corkscrew. So you're basically screwing this device and it is creating a vacuum inside. So I wanna show you exactly how it works. So as you guys can see, if you, it's very difficult to kind of show it here, but what's happening here, if this is closed and you keep screwing this device, it's creating a vacuum inside. And what I like about it is that you don't have to include a pump with it. So you don't have to use a pump in order for you to create the vacuum, unlike all the other devices. So the Fallosan 40 and the Pini Master, you have to use some sort of pump to create the vacuum. Here, everything is included in this piece, which is granted, it's quite a big piece, but it seems like it's really well made. And if it works well, I think it can be a really cool device to use. So in this video, I'm going to also attempt and use this device and see if it will actually work. So the mechanism behind this device is very close to the Fallosan 40. And what I mean by that is you need this rubber sleeve to put it on this device and then you need to cover the penis head with those rubber parts. So the Fallosan 40 works in this way and those guys pretty much copied the rubbers from the Fallosan 40. However, this vacuum head is different from anything that I've ever seen before. So let's unbox all the parts and try to assemble everything together. So as you guys can see, this has to sit onto the head here. So it needs to be like this. To be honest, it looks pretty bulky already. So keep that in mind. I don't know how discreet this device is going to be, but this is the first part. And the way it's supposed to work is you have to wear the second part on the head of your penis. So you have to use those rubber heads, which I think they are different thicknesses. So this one seems thicker than this one. I'm not sure if I'm actually, yeah. This one is definitely thicker than the blue one. So they provide you with different sizes and also they have different size for this rubber sleeve. So if your penis is actually thinner, you can switch it and use this rubber sleeve here. So it's pretty nice that they provide you with different sizes. I think those sizes are gonna cover most of the penis sizes. And they also provide you with this strap, which I think you're going to connect this strap right under your knee and use this Velcro to create the stretch, which is by the way, my favorite way to create the stretch because I think it's the most comfortable way. Uh, it's the most elegant way as well. So in any ways, this device looks good in theory. However, let's see if it actually works in practice. Okay, so first of all, I went ahead and rolled the sleeve back like this. It took me a couple of seconds to do it. So the, this sleeve is actually quite thick, which, you know, it makes it more comfortable, but a little bit more difficult to roll back. And what we need to do is we have to roll this thing down before we attach the penis to it. Now I'm going to be demonstrating on this dildo. However, if you guys wanna see the demonstration on myself, me wearing it on my penis, you guys can check out the link of my OnlyFans in the description below. I don't wanna have photos of myself naked here on YouTube and it's also not that YouTube friendly. So I'd rather have it only on my OnlyFans, only for my true fans. I hope you guys understand and I really appreciate your support. 
So first of all, we have to add this penis sleeve. So it's supposed to be something like this. And then after you add the penis sleeve, what you have to do is put it here and then you have to roll back this other sleeve that we attached. Let's see how difficult it is to do that. Okay, so you have to roll it back like this. All right, so already I feel it's quite secured and it's sitting in place, but in order for you to secure it even more, you have to create the vacuum. And while I'm creating the vacuum, I'm seeing the penis getting stretched right in like a really strong vacuum. Jesus Christ, this is not going anywhere. So it's a super strong vacuum. As you guys can see, I'm applying at least a few kilograms of pressure and this thing is not going anywhere. So in terms of the strength of the vacuum, it is really strong and it's working just as I expected it to work. Now, the way you gotta create the stretch is you have to attach this like so, and you have to create the stretch somehow. So they're providing you with this knee sleeve. And actually, I really like this knee sleeve because it's pretty long. You can roll it comfortably under your knee. Feels like really good quality and you can attach the Velcro anywhere you want. So it's really, really cool. I really like the quality of this one. So you can roll it as many times as you want. It's quite different from the other uh, penis extenders that I reviewed. So imagine this is going to be under your knee and this is your penis and it's going to be stretched like this. And it's a really strong stretch. I really like it. So this is how this penis extender is supposed to work. So far, it's working really well. However, I'm gonna try and wear it on myself and I'm gonna post that video on my OnlyFans. So if you guys are into that, you can check out my OnlyFans. But initial impressions, I like this device. I like the way it works. I might actually use it myself. So I'm gonna try to use it. If it's comfortable enough, I might you know, use it instead of using the Pini Master. I really like it. In any ways, I'm gonna leave a link for this device in the description of this video below. But I really wanted to review this device because this mechanism I haven't seen anywhere else. So I think it's quite cool that you don't need to carry a pump with you. So with this device, if you decided to go to the toilet somewhere outside and you were wearing this device, you can basically remove it Go to the toilet, roll this thing back and create the vacuum without needing to have the pump and carry the pump with you. So it's quite convenient. Everything is in one package. I do realize that this headpiece is quite big, but you really got to understand that some guys have a bigger penis head, so they had to make it that big, I think. But in general, I love this device. I love this mechanism. I hope you guys can appreciate it as well. I think it's a really cool technology that they are using here. In any ways, I hope you guys appreciate this video. I hope you guys appreciate the fact that I'm actually buying some devices and reviewing them on this channel before you guys go ahead and you spend your hard earned money on it. If you guys like this video, all I'm asking is that you smash the like button. And if you're new here and you like such videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. In any ways, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.